This is question number four for the final exam from uh, winter 2012. <clears throat> and here we're told that a student government designed a survey to gather some opinions uh, about the college budget for next year. We have a random sample of 40 students taken. That's our sample size. <clears throat> One question on the survey asked whether they felt the amount being budgeted for IM Sports was an appropriate amount and 45% responded yes. Because this is from a sample, well, we might just want to note that that's a P hat. Letter A says, upon reading a draft of the survey results, uh, with the P hat of 0.45, the student government leader requested that the standard deviation of P hat also be provided. A student taking stats 250 responded to his request saying that the standard deviation of P hat cannot be reported as P is unknown. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we're asked if this is a correct statement. Well, you might note from the yellow formula card, when we look at the uh, sampling distribution for p hat, okay, that if the sample size is large enough, then the distribution of p hat will be normal, right? And this first number will be the true population mean for the sampling distribution. And then this second number is the standard deviation. And notice that the formula for the standard deviation for the sampling distribution of p hat indeed requires that we know p, the true population proportion. So that means that our correct answer would be, uh, uh, is the comment by the STATS 250 student correct? Yes, it's correct that we can't give the standard deviation of the sampling distribution uh, without knowing p. <clears throat> Letter B says the corresponding 90% confidence interval uh, was found to go from 32.1% to 57.9%. Does it appear there is statistically significant support for a minority? Okay, for a minority, that would mean that all possible values of P, we would want them to be less than 50% for a minority. But in fact, our interval includes some numbers, right, that are well above 50%. So, no. Okay, and the question asks us for a because, and that's because the interval includes, oops, includes values above 50%. <clears throat> okay, letter C says a 95% confidence interval would be what compared to a 90% confidence interval? Well, with greater confidence of 95%, our interval would be wider. Okay. And letter D, the director of athletes has asked the student government to repeat the survey with a larger random sample. How many students would be required for a width of the interval to have a uh, to be at most 0 0.05? Notice that width is underlined, and so the width of the interval, the entire length of it is two times the margin of error, okay? And we're told that that would be uh, 0 0.05, which means the margin of error would be 0 0.025. So now we're going to resort to our yellow formula card. And you'll remember that under population proportion, we have a formula here for sample size. <clears throat> and if we just plug in those uh, the proper values for the formula. Okay, remember it was um, n equals z star over, let me make sure I'm getting this correct, z star over 2m, and then we're going to square it. z star over 2m, and square it. If I plug in those values, my z star for a 90% confidence interval is 1.645. Divide that by uh, my margin of error. 2 times the margin of error is 2 times 0 0.025, which is 0 0.05. And then I'm going to square this quantity, which gives me 1,082.4. And remember, for sample size, I always round up. Okay, so my final answer then would be 1,083.